Sunday vlog. It's Sunday. Um, I don't even know what the date is at this point. Get my other phone. Uh, Sunday, April 30th. I wasn't even gonna start vlogging now, but I'm a little bit you know? I just got pulled over by the police. My hair is wet. Cause I curled my wig this morning. I curled my wig yesterday. Cause I'm supposed to be going to my friend's, um, he's having, uh, um, a brunch and I'm like, you know, I got myself all pulled together and I get pulled over for some dumb stuff and like the cop is like overly aggressive. Like, the stuff that we have to go through as being people of color in America, like you are breaking the law. You're breaking the law. There's no law that says I can't do what I'm doing. And you're getting mad because I asked you a question. Like, can you imagine that? I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, you see people out here doing wild stuff, wild stuff. And they get away with it. And all I did was ask you, what law did I break? And oh, your response is, I'm not required to tell you. Yes, you are. You're a civil servant. I pay your, your salary. You have to tell me why you're pulling me over. I don't know if this is just like a sign for the day of how the day is going to go. But like, to go through all that. And then it starts pouring rain outside because you tell me to remove whatever it is I got on my car because I'm telling you don't touch my property. Like, why do I have to tell you almost half a dozen times don't touch my property for you to finally get that you're not going to touch my, my, for lack of, you're not going to touch my shit. Like, don't. You, did, you didn't pay for this. Like, don't touch my stuff. Now it's all of a sudden, oh, well, the weather is getting bad outside. It's no longer safe. You can go and leave it. What, what, like... Because of the color of the skin. <laughs> I'll never understand it. I'll never understand it. Like, I'll never understand it. Later. Alright, so it's still Sunday. I was supposed to go to my friends for brunch. I don't know, it's like really late. It's like 5 30. I just got off of work. I'm dressed in something other than that leisure. Maybe when I get back to my vlog room, um, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I am still wearing leggings, <laughs> but it's like, you know, it's like jazzed up at leisure. Um, but I was calling him and he's not picking up. So it's been raining here. Um, I'm saying Philadelphia, but the tri-state area has been raining uh, like almost nonstop since like Friday. So I'm like... <laughs> You're 40 minutes from where I'm at, so to drive 40 minutes to potentially it being either done or was canceled, I called probably about four or five times. I texted, I got no response. And I'm like, I just don't wanna take the chance to drive all the way out there and the festivities are either done or they just never happened. I also didn't see him post anything on social media. And then after the morning that I had, I'm like, you know what, this is a sign know this morning didn't go according to plan I got to work late then like it messed up my mental I had a little bit of a breakdown if you guys follow me on TikTok you would have seen that breakdown because I'm like I feel like I mean obviously it's it's very well known um the nonsense that happens when people are pulled over or accosted by um law enforcement a lot of times and it's just it just kind of threw me off so i was like you know what between this morning my whole mental and then me calling you and not being able to get a hold of you i feel like now i'm probably like forcing it i did get dressed just in case so i'm like hey you know it's gonna be really great content for you guys to see me like interact with my friends because i'm always in the same places if you guys have checked out my last vlog i just got back to vlog and i'm like all right you know this will make the start for my vlog a little bit different than me always being in my car but Unfortunately, this is where we're at. This is my life. Um, so I'm headed home. Um, I'm headed home. I'm going to relax, clean, because my house is a mess, cook, um, and just try to get to bed and just hopefully have a better day because the start for this day, um, I got two citations. <laughs> Fun times. Um, I'm not really going to talk about it. I'll talk about it at a later time. The reason I didn't go into details is because I saw this on TikTok. Not sure how accurate it is, but I don't want to take the chance that when you are having legal proceedings, if you talk about it on social media, I, they can use that. 
So I'm like, you know what? Until everything is over, I'm just not gonna, um, I'm not gonna talk about it. But just know that I just felt as though it was unnecessary and uh, I did feel unsafe. So, uh, yeah. Uh, like I said, I do plan on opening up a little bit more to you guys. So once everything is cleared, I will update you guys in the vlog. But those were real raw emotions that you guys saw. Like you guys barely see me like sad. It takes a lot for me to start crying. So I'm back in my vlog space. This is the outfit. It's real simple. The, the, the sweater is really what dresses it up. But these are just still like same leggings. But I wanted to come on here and unbox this. I'm just hoping this outfit fits. <laughs> For two reasons one they don't allow you to do returns um and then two the model was wearing a small but they're like oh it runs true to size so i'm like i'm hoping you know the medium does fit based on the measurements that, like they have on their website i'm also gonna try it on you my back has been like oh, okay all right this gives me this gives me hope let me try this on so i can show y'all what it looked like what it looked like I don't know how I feel about it. So I technically was supposed to get a large um, because I'm like, all right, they're like, it runs through the size, but like, I feel like I'm like in between sizes. <sighs> I don't know if this just doesn't look the way I thought it was gonna look because of the fact that I'm 5'11 and obviously the model is shorter, but I'm not. All right. So in Trinidad, right? When we have events, we have themes. And this event theme is supposed to be like, oh, this looks cute from this angle. But the event theme is supposed to be um, like pool attire. And I'm like, uh, not doing that. So it's kind of giving me like, you know, yacht vibes is what it, I'm gonna try, let me, let me stop talking and pull up this picture, right? Try to play no games, my love. I want to kind, couldn't fake my love. Earthquake makes some shake, my love. Okay. Now I feel, I'm trying to figure out like, is it me? Like, why is this top so short? Or maybe it just looks shorter on me because I have a long torso, but like, I don't know, like the pants feel like they're really, really high up. Like, I don't necessarily know if I like the fit. Like it fits funny. I'm probably gonna wear it because at this point, I've been striking out on Shein, like can't find an outfit, can't find the color. Like, I don't know. I did order um shorts like boy shorts to go underneath this because i'm not gonna wear a thong i'm not about that life and i'm not gonna wear panties however i don't know maybe it just has to grow on me like i feel like this should have fit like a little bit of a fold here i'm gonna wear it anyway because i i ain't got time i'm tired of looking for outfits for this event like it just it is what it is at this point you know it's monday i don't even know what day it is getting back into vlogging I'm gonna say it's hard. Um, yesterday obviously was a rough day for me. I was like, you know, I don't really go anywhere. I'm gonna go be around my friends. I'll vlog it for you guys. It'll be something great to watch. And then the Sunday just started off wrong. Hey vlog. It is Tuesday, May 2nd, 6.33 p.m. I gotta do fix my nails, right? So just to fill you guys in, I have since reached out to Valentino. I love them. I love the brand. I love... You know how you can just tell somebody's a good person? I can just tell that Dino's a good person just by the way that he treats the people who are around him. And I reached out to their customer service. The customer service was way more than accommodating. Um, just based on the experience that I have. I, As you guys know, years ago, I started doing my nails. And I used to use Mia Secret. Then I found Valentino, fell in love with the product. And I've been using it ever since. However, this latest batch of acrylic that I've gotten from them, every time I turn around, I'm cracking another nail. Now, normally I don't put acrylic, like clear acrylic by itself. I might've done it like years ago, but I haven't done it in a really, really long time. I literally fixed this already. It cracked again, fixed this side. This morning, this cracked. Like every time I turn around and fix it, and I'm, and obviously like I know how to, I'm better at doing nails now than I was years ago. Um, I know how to do the apex so that the nail, you know, it's not like fragile, doesn't like snap off. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So here's where we're at, right? I want to try this out because lately I've been using their Smoke and Mirrors collection. This is my favorite color. This is a camel. I feel like it's the perfect nude for my skin tone, but the consistency is not the same. Like, I feel like you might even be able to see it now. This is I have gotten this like years ago. This is called Perfect Nude. All right. 
so I'm not going crazy, right? You can actually even see it by the consistency. Like, look how this shifts. I don't know if you can see it. See? And it picks up the same way. It's Thursday. I don't even know the date. What's the date? It's Thursday, May 4th, right? I'm in here about to work out. And I, ha I just realized, like, subconsciously, I really haven't tapped in with you guys. This is workout number three for the week. Yesterday was a hectic day. Um, I had a dentist appointment. I had something else to do with the family. And I got home and I was drained because I woke up and I worked out like 8 o'clock in the morning. But I'm in here again for day three. I've leaned out quite a bit because I've added an extra day. I don't like it. So the goal is to, I lost like a half an inch around like my hips and my butt and I absolutely hate it. So the goal is to put it back on. Let's see if I can show you. Look back at my gimbal. I have muscles that I build out here and in adding an extra day, it's probably not the best angle because the light and everything is to my back. Um, maybe I'll try it from this angle so you guys can see it. But in adding an extra day to my workout and adding cardio, it just is not working out for me, for my body type. Um, I lost a little bit of fat and a little bit of muscle that I build up in that area. I got an event in two weeks. I don't want to look like this. So I got two weeks to put it back on. And also to add insult to, not add insult to injury, but to add to it, I don't eat properly. I couldn't tell you guys the last time that I properly ate protein outside of my protein shake. And I know for a fact that it's not enough. So... Between me changing my routine for my workout and not properly eating, yeah, I'm looking slim, slender. Uh, not, uh, not how I want to look. I'm okay with my legs the way they're looking, but I just don't like the way my, the side of my hip is looking. So we got some work to do in these two weeks. So I recently added these to my workouts. They are squats and also good morning. So um, I like them because they're really good at engaging my glutes. Just make sure you squeeze. I'm also doing some squats. I don't do too much weights because I don't want my legs to bulk up. As you guys can see, they're pretty big. Um, but I like just the way it, it rounds out the side of your glutes. So I decided to add it back in just so I can gain some of that muscle I lost. Alright, so I just did two sets of 15 squats. <sighs> see. They're considered sumo squats. This is probably not my angle. <laughs> Look at my old chef hat. <laughs> you already know. I'm not gonna tell you what I call them. Hold on, mercy. Cause it might be offensive to some people. But you know, the braids is in. Washed my hair a few days ago. But I try not to do squats. Cause I already have pretty decent legs. When I started my fitness journey, I um, you know, like oh squats instead of shots. And I thought squats is how you grew your glutes. It is not. I don't know if I said this on here before. Squats are a compound workout. They work your legs before they work your butt. They do also work your back and your abs. They are a great overall workout. However, if you're trying to grow your glutes by themselves, it is not the best workout. However, they do round out your glutes very nicely. So that is why I still incorporate them. And considering I feel as though I've lost some of my hip dip now, some people have like a hip dip that goes in like this. Mine is probably like about this. And if you build it out with muscle, Oh, Lord mercy. They're not like overly round, but round enough to not, excuse me, to make them not visible. So I do squats, um, but not very often. I do sumo squats once a week, two sets of 20 um, on like the little steppers that I have over there with that little eight pound, that um, weight that I have on top of there next to the boss. So I just work. <laughs> I got on my, my, my athleisure jacket is what I'm going to call it. I'm about to head to the vitamin shop. I want them protein bars because I'm a little hungry. And I'm going to head to Target because it's right by my job as well. Oops. Hi. No, I think I know where it's at unless you guys moved it. Oh, it's expensive though. Oh wait, is it this one? Remember, I should look at my own video to figure out which one is the one I bought. The only bar. I can't remember. I feel like it's giving me like it's this one. Is this the one? Dairy free. I can't remember, y'all. I got my protein bar. I bought two because I just know how it's about to be. I thought I was recording, I wasn't. But I got the bar. Head to Target. 
gonna catch up with y'all when I get over there. I wanna say it's a long little walk, but I got my backpack. I feel like Dora. Where's the furniture store? I'm gonna go in the furniture store. Cause I'm gonna tell you what's going on. All right, let me stop <laughs> the ramble and figure my life out. This morning I said it was gonna be like 40 degrees outside. So I'm like, all right, let me put on my bigger jacket so I can be warm. But I'm headed into Ashley Furniture cause I actually need a pantry for my kitchen. It's just, huh. yeah. My kitchen is small. I have like, this little cart that I keep my um, child's thing on, dishes and stuff. And all the stuff is getting broken. In addition to that, I need space. So since we're here, we're gonna go and see what they got. So unfortunately, that was a strikeout. They don't have what I need. Um, and they recommended Bed Bath & Beyond. They said that that would be the best place for me and I'd probably get a better deal. Um, I don't have enough time to go to Target because my ride is here. So I'm gonna check online, what's happening with you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, make sure your girl's growing. I know I look crazy. I love beauty on the wig because it's really just been given what needs to give. Um, but that wraps up this week's vlog. Um, thanks for watching. Bye for now.